Hey everyone, I hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Weens. I'm in Bangkok, Thailand. I'm hanging out with my friend Drew. Hey guys, how you doing? And today we are in Silom, which is, it's one of the main downtown financial districts of Bangkok, full of Skyrise office buildings. And so at lunchtime, just floods of people come here to eat street food. And so we thought it would be a lot of fun to take you today on a Silom Thai street food lunch tour of Bangkok. We're not even sure exactly what we're gonna eat, but we're just gonna go to some of the popular, famous stalls and share it all with you in this video. That was okay. It was better. It was okay. Bandik Kim. Okay. Okay, the first place we're stopping is called Common Kai. Hey, what's up, man? What's going on, brother? What's up, man? Oh, man, I watch, I watch all your food videos, man. That's Thank so crazy you. to Thank see you. I'm having a little trouble reading the font of this Common Kai spot, but it's a chicken rice spot called Common Kai Bandit Kim. It's right in the heart of Saladang, right on Convent Road. If you have gotten off the BTS at Saladang Station and walked down this road, there's no doubt that you have passed by this stall many, many times. Uh, we're here before lunch. It's just after 10.30 a.m., so it's not very full yet. But if you come here, Drew, man, if you're here right at noon, these tables will just be packed. And the good thing is we're here early, so we can yeah. get a couple meals in before the main lunch rush arrives. Uh, so we're gonna have chicken rice first. Yes, sir. You ready? Yes, man, let's do it. Oi. Oi. <laughs> All right, yeah. cool. It's good, man. Yeah, so as soon as you order, maybe we're a little, we're on a little bit of a wobbly table here. Kao means rice. Man is like the the fat or the oil. Mm -hmm. And then gai is chicken. So you have common gai, chicken rice, that is exactly chicken sure. rice. And then there's always sauce. You have to have sauce. And we just watched the guy chop the chicken in the back and you know, he really dissects it in the perfect angle every time. And They also sort of kind of like flatten it with the knife. Right. Uh, so that it just, yeah, it just fits beautifully over your plate of rice. Yeah. Before we try the sauce, let's just try a bite of the, sure, the rice because the rice has got to be fragrant. You can see that it's just kind of glistening. Cheers. Mmm. Mm. Garlicky, right? It is, yeah. Mm. I like the rice. It's very fluffy. It's delicious, man. And it is very fragrant. Um, and you can feel like each individual grain of rice because it's so fluffy. And then you've got the chicken, which is actually almost, it's very moist. Very like succulent chicken. Mmm. That chicken's so soft. It's time to sauce. I believe there's some tao jiao in here from what I can smell. It's a fermented soybeans, but then there's also ginger and chilies in here. It really is all about the sauce. I mean, the chicken and rice are excellent, but the sauce is almost drinkable. And you can see kind of the shredded, the shredded ginger in there. Um, and let me get a, a nice, good, giant bite to just maximize the sauce. Mm-hmm. That's soft. It's addicting, that flavor. It's the fermented soybeans which right. make up most of that flavor. But that gives it such a depth of flavor. And then you've got the ginger in there. The ginger kind of kicks in after. When you said ginger, then I started tasting it. Mm -hmm. But the first taste is not ginger. So they only add a little bit of ginger to the actual sauce. That's why there's an entire bowl full of extra ginger for people like us that, that need it. <laughs> and then of course, chopped chilies. Okay, that should be good for the next few bites. Maybe a little bit of extra sauce on there just for, for good measure, of course. <laughs> oh, and that is a perfect, a perfect bite. Mm. Mm. With that extra ginger. Yeah. But even the ginger is not that pungent because I believe that it's young ginger. You can tell if it's young or old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's experience, guys. Oh, yeah. He knows if it's a younger old ginger. Mm -hmm. <laughs> younger ginger, ginger is more juicy mm -hmm. and a little bit sweeter. And then the final component to common guy is the chicken soup. And there's some winter melon in here, too. Okay, I'll eat the winter melon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, chicken soup is nice. Um, that winter melon just actually dissolves right down your throat. That 
was a great way to yeah, begin. Dude. Good little appetizer for the day. We're gonna move on now to the next spot, uh, which is just down the road, mm -hmm. uh, and hopefully they're open. It's now 11 a.m., so a lot of carts are starting to set up. Street food is starting to set up for the main lunch rush. Uh, I think we can fit two lunches in before the main lunch, Absolutely. before the real lunch. Absolutely, I'm looking forward to it. We got, we, we're getting a head start. Passing by this place, it's called Somtam Jeso. This is one of my absolute oh, favorite yeah? places for yeah, green papaya salad. Ooh, that's my favorite. That's one of the best. We walked almost, it's almost to Satan, which is uh, kind of the adjacent business financial district of Bangkok, but we just made, made it to the spot. This is the place. All right, Drew. Oh, oh, cool. They have these like stands for oh, the yeah. chair. Look, they have your chair. Whoa. Standing up there. Never seen that before. Nea, me look chin, me nea, sot, me nea, pui, me sai, me pap, what I en, kai ki leo. Chuk yang gao lao kap. Awesome. <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> <laughs> so we just decided to get uh, beef. How do you say? Good night, kap. Uh, we decided to get beef soup with, with everything. So there's meatballs, there's the braised beef, there is uh, probably some organs, there's uh, tendon. When we ordered a mix of everything, it means all the meats, all the beefs. So what he does is he takes the basket strainer, which is the boiler. Uh, he grabs some of the fresh beef. There's some liver there. There is some tripe. Uh, he sticks it into the basket. He, he, he blanches it real fast. Just a quick blanch and dunks it into that hot beef soup. It's so aromatic. Uh, then he takes some of the pre-cooked braised beef, which is sort of like briskety, briskety meat. Um, just blanches that real fast. Sticks it into your bowl um, and then adds some of the soup to the bowl and then finally finishes it off with some of the, the fried garlic and a sprinkle of pepper. So excited. <laughs> You ready to go eat? Yeah, okay, ready. let's go back to our back to our chairs. You can delicious. smell really smell the star anise in there. They also include some lettuce as well as some water morning glory in right there. Right here, this guy. Um, yep, to and that, that even increases the fragrance. Uh, so we got the gao lao version, which is just a soup with rice on the side. You can also order this with noodles. You you can get it however you like, and you can get whatever organs you like as well. Mmm, mmm, mm, man. Yeah, it's almost. It's so aromatic. You taste all of those Chinese herbs in there. It has this sweetness to it. Kind of like soy too. I'm just gonna reach my chopsticks in and, and take whatever I get, which in this instance happens to be a piece of liver and a piece of the, the fresh beef. Mm. 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 That's so like fresh mm. tasting. Because all of the, the meats, apart from the beef that's been braised, everything is just flash blanched. And they're all kind of different textures going on in here. I mean, exactly. it's, not, it's not like one consistent meat. They're different exactly. shapes, different sizes. Now that we've tried the broth and the meat, it's time to make our sauce. It's fish sauce in a soy sauce bottle. So you add chili, a little bit of wow. fish sauce, and then mainly is chili vinegar. Yeah. Which this is, one? yep, this one, the big, the green sauce. Oh, there it is. That is the perfect, give that a little chopstick twirl. That's your beef dipping sauce. What is this one? That should be liver. Liver. Into the sauce. Oh, oh yes. Lunch crowd is coming already. Yep. Wow. Cool. Spicy, sour. Mm -hmm. It has all the kicks, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I just kind of like almost let it sit <laughs> in the sauce because the Dunk sauce it. is so good. Dunk it and let it, let it just soak. Like a sponge. Okay, I'm gonna try meatball next. And another thing you can do that I like to do sometimes is just kind of pour it on. Pour it on. The ball too. Oh, it's really spongy. But it is. firm at the yeah. same time. Mmm. Mmm. Good. Oh, that was some rice. Think about this chili sauce. When you mix the chili plates with the fish sauce, it becomes like a liquid chili base and it burns your lips. It just stays on your lips the whole meal. Whether that's a good or bad thing. For me, it's a good thing, but you're always reminded of that spice, man. <laughs> oh. oh, the tripe is incredible. And it has like a like a snap to it. Like a little, just wonderful cartilage crunch to it. 
ครับสวัสดีครับขอบคุณครับขอบคุณครับ Now as we're leaving it's actually even still before I think it's still before yeah it's 11:50 but you can see the the Silom lunch rush now is starting to to build up now there's a whole crowd waiting to eat here so it's good we got here 30 minutes ago and by the way the place is called EJ amazing man like I'm already getting kind of full. I know that's a bad thing because we have more coming, right? <laughs> <laughs> Now we're ready for the real lunch. Can't wait. Man. But yeah, that did like that was that it did. It gives you the sweats. I got it's the sweats. It's already humid outside. I've got the sweats. The, the soup, so. Yes, exactly. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> This is the next restaurant street food stall. This is a place that's very famous for noodles, and it is right at noon. This is perfect time. For for ultimate busyness, it's this is just the the atmosphere that I love so much about Bangkok. Yeah, yeah. right on the street. Stalls, the aromas of beautiful soups and chilies Absolutely, and man. limes. Oh yeah. Who p i c k e e k p i c k e p i c k e p i c k e p i c k e p i c k e p i c k e p i c k e p i c k e p i c k e p i c k e Yeah. You can choose your size: 40 baht, 50 baht, 60 baht. She told us that the 60 baht version—that's the special, that's the big bowl that comes with everything, including m u k r a b which is the crispy, crispy pork belly. The action and energy here is so beautiful. And what's what's noticeable when I'm standing here by the cart where she's assembling the noodles, she's actually blanching the noodles back there somewhere. You can't really see. Uh, but then they've got some of the seasoning ingredients here at the front, and so the final step, uh, if she blanches the noodles, then he adds in the, the minced pork, the egg. Um, the nice touch is that he squeezes on the lime juice, so it's, the lime juice is not cooked; that preserves the flavor. Tosses the noodles, adds on some more seasoning. Um, so that's you, you just smell the citrus, the lime aroma. It smells so good. And that's why there are so many people here. Do we even get a table? Uh, we're waiting for a table because there's kind of a queue over there. Okay. So she's yeah. No, we're we've got it. We're waiting for a table. We're in line. We're in line. This is the heat of the moment, guys. This is this is what it's all about. Whoa, come with me. We waited about 30 minutes to get this chair, but we yes, finally we got it. So. Yes, we did. <laughs> You're in the frame more, and there's more action behind you on that side. Yeah, this is cool. That is not cool, Mark. Did you get that? Okay, come. Then two, three. Oh yeah. Oh, sorry. But it comes with soup on the side, yeah. Yeah, I think it does. Right? She's gonna bring it. Yeah. You have two cameras on you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. There's no pressure. <laughs> The first expression that I'm gonna say is "nagin mar," means like I desperately want to eat this. This is true. This is true. <laughs> Definitely, you could put your whole face in this bowl. It's that big. Um, the you've got bami, which are egg noodles, but they're not the like. Not the like, uh, not, not the spaghetti egg noodles, but there's a thick. Look at that yeah. bunch of noodles. Actually, you know what? I just grabbed in one chopstick all of the noodles in my all entire bowl. All of you could bowl. eat it all in That's one bite. That's how sticky they are. If you, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, they're the the semi-wide egg noodles. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so wheat-based with egg, but then all of the toppings. You see the red barbecue pork. You've got the mukrab, which looks oh, incredible, man. which is the crispy pork belly. A variety of meatball-looking things. Some of the minced pork, and just like. Thin and wavy, wavy. That's what they are. They're wavy. Mm. 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 Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh wow, dude. They're tangly, mm -hmm. and they're so they're soft but not mushy at all, and they're very very thin. I mean, not the width, but the. The thickness is a big. They kind of group together in your mouth when you chew them. They do. Like they don't separate. They mm -hmm. kind of go in like a ball in your mouth, but mm -hmm. it's a great so ball. It, so it kind <laughs> of has a gummy texture at the same mm -hmm. time. Uh, chili oil. There's chili, dry chili flakes. There's vinegar, and then this is another vinegar. And these would be like all the essential seasoning for this. Oh, look at this. This is a beauty. Are you putting all that in? I am putting all of this in. Yes. One more scoop, just for for good, good measure. Oh, perfect. Good, and then I'm gonna go in for also some uh, vinegar and some chili flakes as well. A little bit of dry chili flakes on here, and finally some of the, the chili vinegar, and probably two scoops of this to complete my seasoning for the moment. Can I say something? Yo. 
Uh, yeah. Okay, you want to say no, it? No. You want to say it on? Wait until we're talking. No. Go ahead. All right, guys. I don't think like an average person will put that much chili on it. I know this guy loves spice, but it's mind blowing how spicy he makes this dish. I just want he wouldn't say that, so I want to say that on the camera. That's it. Okay. Okay. Look at that, man. It's like a full layer thick of spice. A blanket of chili. A blanket of chili. Yeah. A blanket, blanket of chili. chili. That's my favorite kind of blanket. Okay, and I'm gonna give this a little. Whoa, it's kind of sliding on the metal metal table. Give this a little stir. Let it coat those noodles. So good. That this is where things get more and more beautiful and more flavorful. Oh, and the crispy pork belly. Okay, I'm gonna definitely get some crispy pork belly on this bite. Check out the, how these noodles have just been transformed. Mm. Oh my God. Dude. Dude, the crispy pork belly. Did you get a bite of that yeah. yet? Cool. Wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is our third meal in the last hour. And even though I'm full, this is the best one. This is my favorite one. This is crazily good, yeah. So yo. good. I need a little more vinegar to balance everything. And we'll be balanced out to perfection. Okay, perfect. I gotta get that pork belly again. And I'll get some mudang, which is the barbecue pork on this bite. I'm surprised that you actually like eat everything in the background. As Drew and I were filming, Ying managed to finish her entire bowl. Like, sparkly clean. Look at that. And look at that. Ying, you are a champion. Mm -hmm. You are a champion. Yeah. That's the reason we get along so well. Okay, there it is. Oh, let me see that skin. Let me see that, that skin. Yeah. See that? Oh, yeah. That crunchy but soft. Mm. The final component of this dish is the soup because we got the dry noodles, so the soup is on the side. You can see the the rat pakshi, which is the, the coriander, the cilantro roots. Yeah, very light. Another thing you what you can do, Drew, yeah. you can take some of your soup and try kind of add it to your noodles to really? so re rehydrate them as you continue to eat, which I love to do. It's like rejuvenating. Bringing them back because to life. Your noodles kind of get yeah. a little dry, and yeah. you can keep on keep on rolling with it. Well, look at these are just so so tasty. I love the texture. It's great. I think this egg is a one biter. Mm. Oh, that yolk! Oh, it's so creamy. Down to my last bite. I think this is a fish ball. Um, and I'm just gonna scrape up, wipe up some of that final chili oil and nuts down there. Oh, oh yes. Right off the lip of the bowl with the thumb. Okay, I got it. Cool. That's a totally new texture. That was one of a kind in the bowl. Good job, dude. Oh, dude, the best. I'm so happy right now. I'm so satisfied. I don't. I don't need to eat until dinner. I mean, how's, I meant the, tomorrow. how's the noodles? Very good. Very good. As I mentioned, my lips are burning. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Thailand. <laughs> Welcome to Bangkok. So good. She is a master. She is a master. You've got to come here when you're in Siloam. And the lunch rush. It's so much energy. It's so action packed. Her noodles. She knows what she's doing, guys. Really. Come, come. He has called us over. You want half of the sample? Yeah, dude. This is the one with, with uh, taro inside. We've stopped to, for the final thing on this Thai street food tour of Silom at lunch. Uh, we've stopped to eat Kalam Tokiao, which is a sweet, it's like kind of like a pancake, which uh, Lung, the uncle, is really friendly. Well, this is the with taro inside. Mm. Oh, yeah. It is like a pancake. Oh, and he's, okay, he's making a fresh batch. Good. Really good. Unless you want to try the hot dog one, we can. I ordered hot dog. Oh, you did? Because <laughs> <laughs> the hot dog one has the quail like. Oh, here's the quail like. Yeah. Lung Ma Kyu Lai. Lung Tokyo. Lung Tokyo. Uh, it's Uncle Tokyo. Uh, Uncle Tokyo. Uh, <laughs> 
Uncle Tokyo on Soy Convent. He's such a friendly man. He's been making snacks, this same snack, for 20 years. 20 years. Um, and like, yeah, we, we already tried some of the, the sweet versions just snacking right off the griddle, but the one I'm most interested to try is the Thai pig in the blanket, the Thai corn dog. The entire hot dog, the ketchup, the, oh, the quail egg. The quail egg, is right. all wrapped up and on the stick, on the stick, on a skewer. How convenient is that? Mm. Oh man! <laughs> wow! I need to think about this for a second. <laughs> that is like oddly delicious. What? Yeah. It's like a sweet pancake. Yeah. With a slightly mushy hot dog, the quail egg, ketchup. and you got that tangy ketchup. I, I vote this is great, man. I'll come back and get this again. <laughs> Even if the hot dog is not my favorite thing, like just. The experience the art, in itself, yeah. Just the art of Lung Uncle making it, his passion for it, and his like positivity, and just his, he's been doing it for ooh. 20 years, making the same exact thing. Every, yeah. I asked and, him how many he sells in a day, and he said he can't even count because he sells so many. And just the convenience of this, it's all on a stick. You never need to touch it. I happen to be on my final bite. It's kind of a sad moment. I yeah, I know. It's kind of bittersweet. It's kind of bittersweet. All right, this is the yeah. this is the final bite of hot dog. Yeah. So that was a lot of fun and that was a perfect ending. Drew, what was your favorite dish of the day? I have to say it was the third one we ate, the dry noodles, man. That was amazing. It was. Yeah. It really was incredibly good. Uh, but we've come to end of the end of this food tour. I want to say a huge thank you to Drew for joining me. Uh, Drew, can you just tell everybody what you do? Sure, thanks man. It was a pleasure being here. So I make daily travel videos on Facebook and YouTube. Just like two to three minute little documentary style telling unique stories and everything just like uh, the guy that we just met. I'll leave all his links below, check him out. He also makes videos with a message and also really explains the culture. Yeah, Drew is cool. cool. Well, anyway, Thanks, man. thank you also very much for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below, I'd love to hear from you. And if you're not already subscribed, click subscribe now. And also, you see that little bell icon? Click that bell icon, that way you're gonna get notified of the next video that I publish. Thanks again for watching. Goodbye from Bangkok in Silom. See you on the next video. See you guys. Come on, come.